हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आर यूट्यूब चैनल फार्मीजी बाय स्वाति टुडे वी विल कवर अप द वेरी मच इंटरेस्टिंग टॉपिक दैट इज जॉइंट्स ऑफ ह्यूमन बॉडी एंड द लेक्चर विल इंक्लूड इंट्रोडक्शन एंड क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ जॉइंट बॉल एंड सॉकेट जॉइंट हिंज जॉइंट ग्लाइडिंग जॉइंट पाइवोट जॉइंट कॉन्डिलॉइड जॉइंट and saddle joint so without wasting your time let's start joints these are also known as articulates and when two or more bones articulates together is known as joints these joints play a very vital role in flexibility and movement of the skeleton bones are attached to one another by tissues is called ligaments joints include cartilage tendons ligaments and nerves this figure shows different types of joints such as gliding joint hinge joint pivot joint ellipsoidal joint saddle joint ball and socket joint There are many joint related disorders such as arthritis, osteoporosis, bursitis and many more. This is a figure of joint. These are the two bones which articulates together and forms a joint. Its articular cartilage and synovial membrane, articular capsule cavity filled with synovial fluid which is a viscous fluid and it reduces the friction between cartilages now see this figure and understand different joints present in the different parts of body in the neck region pivot joint is present that helps in 180 degree rotation of our head Elbow part have hinge joint that allow movement of hand in only one direction. Saddle joint is present between carpal and metacarpal that helps in the wrist movement. And ball and socket joint are present in the hip bone and the shoulder bone that helps in the movement of limbs. Condyloid joint is present between radius and carpal bones of wrist. and the plane joint is present between the tarsal bones that help in the ankle movement now look at this figure these are the different joints present in the wrist palm and the fingers condyloid joint is present between the tarsals saddle joint is present in the carpal and metacarpal of thumb These two carpals have plane joint. The joint between metacarpal and the phalanges have ball and socket joints and the joints between these phalanges have hinge joint. Our next topic is classification of joints. Joints are classified into three categories that is fibrous joints, cartilaginous joints and synovial joints. Fibrous joints are immovable joints and these joints are present in skull bones upper jaw rib cage backbone and the pelvic bone Cartilaginous joints are partly movable joints These joints are present in the vertebrae and the rib cage Synovial joints are the movable joint These joints are present in the shoulder region, neck, knee joint and in the carpals or wrist joint. There are some important joint related terms such as flexion, extension, abduction, abduction and circumduction. Flexion is an action of bending and extension means increasing of angle between the bones of limb and a joint. Look at this figure it shows extension and flexion Abduction means movement away from the midline adduction means movement towards the midline and circumduction refers to circular movement of a body part 
as this figure shows abduction adduction and circumduction and now we will discuss different joints found in human body so first one is ball and socket joint head of one bone is ball shaped and articulates with a cup shaped socket of another these joints allow a wide range of movement including flexion extension adduction rotation and circumduction example of ball and socket joint is shoulder and hip bones as the figure shows the ball and socket joint of hip bone and the shoulder bone next joint is hinge joint articulating ends of the bones fit together so movement is restricted to flexion and extension examples of hinge joints are elbow joint which permit only flexion and extension of forearm and knee ankle and the joints between phalanges of fingers and toes this diagram shows the elbow joint that is present between the humerus bone and the ulna these joints allow only unidirectional movement gliding joint in this articular surfaces are flat or very slightly curved glide over one another but the amount of movement possible is very restricted examples are joints between the carpal bones in the wrist tarsal bones in the foot and the processes of the vertebrae as the diagram shows declining joints between the carpal bones next joint is pivot joint these joints allow a bone or a limb to rotate in this joint one bone fits into a hoop shaped ligament that holds it close to another bone and allow it to rotate in the ring thus formed full rotation is not possible for example rotates on the pivot joint of the axis held within the ring formed by transverse ligament and odontoid process of the atlas second last joint is condyloid joints condyle is a smooth rounded projection on a bone and it sits within a cup shaped depression on the other bone this joint allows flexion extension abduction adduction and circumduction for example joints between condylar process of the mandible and the temporal bone joints between metacarpal and the phalanges of hand joints between metatarsal and the phalanges of foot as this diagram shows the condyloid joint between metacarpal and the phalanges last joint is saddle joint in this joint articulating bones fit together the ability to touch each of the fingertips on the same hand it is due to the nature of the thumb joint that saddle joint it is a biaxial joint that allows movement on the two planes that is flexion or extension and abduction or adduction for example these joints are present at the base of the thumb means between the trapezium of the rest and the first metacarpal bone as this diagram shows the saddle joint between the trapezium and metacarpal of the thumb i hope you like our lectures and if you have any queries regarding our lectures then ask in the comment section so We have completed second unit of human anatomy and physiology B pharmacy first semester In the next lecture we will start the third unit of human anatomy and physiology Thank you keep watching and take care